So for discussion five, it asks us to talk about our needs assessment and two sampling methods that we just learned based off of module five. Um, and the two sampling methods and the pros and cons that we use based off, our needs, off of our needs assessment that we just wrote. Um, so for my needs assessment, I wrote about poverty. Um, the research question was, why has poverty increased um, so much and what programs or implementations could be put in place that the numbers will decrease? Um, so for my specific area of like population and clients in my needs assessment, I think the two biggest ones that I use were the typical case sampling. Um, so that's trying to obtain um, cases or individuals who represent the average client. So my average client, um, they have to meet like a certain standard based off of what the U.S. Um, says is like their poverty description or whatever the numbers are. Um, so that's like the average client and all of the cases and all of the data and research um, that have been shown in my needs assessment, they all represent only that one, like that typical population. So it does provide good information about the population. So that's a good thing. That's one of the pros of the typical case sampling. Um, however, the con is it doesn't provide a cross section of cases. So um, it doesn't provide like a large uh, like deviation or like, uh, I mean, like a differential like type of population, like I guess you would say. Um, and then another big one I used was purposeful sampling. So that's defined as where a group has certain characteristics or interests in common. Um, this was all of my groups. So um, in the needs assessment, I, um, I mentioned the different like federal policies and implementations that are now for poverty. So like some of the examples were like WIC, food stamps, um, like a, a housing assistance that the government provides. However, they all have to meet certain qualifications um, and they have to like go through a process. So they all have certain characteristics that they meet in order to qualify for these programs. So a purposeful sample would be exactly that. Um, they have what, whatever characteristics they all have in common, which mine was usually um, their income or like if they're disabled or a lot of it's based off of their income. Um, for like the different programs. Uh, the, the pro is that um, there's a like a good amount of information when you do the purposeful sampling um, that can be found based off of that one population. However, the con will be it is that one population. So um, no claim can be made that the larger population is represented. So because it's only the certain characteristics or interests in common and they don't go different off of that that's the only um con is that it can't be a larger or a larger population cannot be represented um i think these two work best um these type of samplings for my needs assessment specifically because um for poverty it is defined as um certain numbers based in the u.s um so you really do have to do like a certain you can't really deviate um, based off of like the standards of poverty in the U.S. So it is very important to look at like one specific population.